Hello and welcome to this look at a deluxe balcony cabin onboard brand new Golden Horizon from Trade Wind Voyages. Welcome to cabin 527 aboard the Golden Horizon. This is a balcony cabin um, located on the main deck right around midship. Um, this is a great sized cabin, really great location as well. Not felt any rocking even though the seas have been pretty nice to us so far. Um, calm days, beautiful blue skies which certainly help on a ship like this. So now I'm going to take you around and show you what this cabin has to offer. Plenty of storage, as you can see, a nice sized double bed. Um, come back around this way, you can see this is the main entrance and on the side is the bathroom. I'll put up some images of that, it's a bit tight to get the camera in and me. Um, you get full, you get 24 hour room service with this cabin, um, mini bar is included. Um, it's, it's a great option, full, full bath and shower. Um, one thing to know about about the shower and the bathroom is there is a quite a large step to get into the bathroom which I'll show you in just a minute um, the only other thing is perhaps the shower head is in the middle of the bath facing the side rather than lengthways so I, it could cause some problems with, with splashing water onto the floor and making that surface wet being a marble floor it's it can become very slippery but other than that this is a, a brilliant cabin I've got a great view I've got a balcony um, which we will go out, out onto in a second. So here you can see the balcony. Um, great size balcony. Very similar size to the suites. Um, comes with a table, two chairs. Just a great size. Especially going to be great when sailing in the hot Caribbean days. I think that's where the ship's really going to thrive. Um, you can easily split this in two with with these curtains so you have a de designated living area which is here there's two seats of sofa um, and plenty of storage um, and then open it back up it also helps to keep out some of the light um, there's curtains on the doors and the windows but I think it's just that added layer of, of protection if you, if you don't want to be woken up with the bright sunshine so I mentioned all the storage that's available in here each side of the bed there's three drawers there's two drawers down here underneath like the bureau where the TV sits above. You've got a coffee maker um, and water here, also a telephone to get down to reception. Also ordered our 24 hour room service. There's US and European plugs here. Now we were sailing out of the UK and they've actually provided us with UK adapters, which is a really great touch. Um, but heading on to the storage, all the way along the side of the room here, you can see these kind of uh, vertical panels behind each one is more and more storage so you've got five shelves in here you had your main main storage here for hanging clothes um, long clothes um, your life jacket at the top safe at the bottom again two more drawers in the, in the bottom there as well now one touch that I really like here is that you don't have to store your suitcase in your closet space um, I always find that, that it stops clothes hanging, it just gets in the way, you're, you're, you're using up space for an empty suitcase and that's not great. The storage is under the centre of the bed, you just slide it under, loads of space, you're going to get all, all your suitcases that you could possibly need under there. Um, great way to just get them out of the way and leave everything else for, for storage for clothes and, and other items. So I'm now over in the living area of um, the cabin. Um, it's Big open space, nice little table, um, two seat sofa here, more storage over there, three drawers, two, two liar, long cupboards as well. Um, I just wanted to give some final thoughts about how you might select a cabin when when choosing to, to sail with Trade Wind. Um, there's 30 balcony cabins on board here and I highly recommend this cabin, this is absolutely brilliant. Um, so much space, which is, which is great because I think Often people like to say your, your cabin is just somewhere to stay, but sometimes you might want to spend some time in there as well. And this is a great space to be able to do that. There's plenty of space on the balcony to enjoy, enjoy the weather or the views, um, and plenty of space to just kick back and relax if you just want some time to yourself. So this is definitely a great option. Um, the, the difference between one of these cabins and a cabin on the deck below, which is a porthole cabin, um, you get 24 hour room service here, you don't downstairs. Um, I think that's a consideration for a lot of people. Very interestingly, there is four dedicated solo cabins. The size of those cabins are really good. Um, 
they're also portholes, so uh, still get great views, not stuck on the inside, but there's only four of them, they do sell out quick, so if you're interested in single cabins, that's definitely something that you, that you need to be aware of, is that they do, they do go quickly. Um, for the information about the other cabins, stay tuned, I'm going to be talking to Mark, who's a head of sales for Tradewind Voyages, later on as I do a tour of the rest of the show.